Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At this point in history, when we are watching and reading our politicians talk about increased gun control, more bans, 10 day waiting periods, adding taxes on this and that, there are other events taking place that get no coverage. Just four days ago, in Akron, Ohio, a place that is very near and dear to me. I, I have family in Akron, my dad was born and raised in Akron, Ohio. I went to Kent State, which is about 20 minutes from Akron. I know the place very well, and I, I love Akron, but there was a home invasion that took place, and the owner of that home was 73-year-old Daniel McGowan. Now, prior to the break-in on August 27th, about a week prior to that, he had another break-in where his house was robbed. When he was gone, he came home, the, the house was ransacked, the guns were stolen, laptops were stolen, all this stuff was taken from his house. They used a shovel that he owned to pry open the door and steal all this valuable stuff from his house. So here we flash forward to August 27th. He is, is trying to increase the integrity of the door, although it was not in great shape and at 5 a.m. in the morning he hears pounding on the door the doorbell ringing and he is sleeping with a SIG 9 millimeter right next to him so as he states he walks downstairs and waits and there there's a 51 year old man right in the midst of his living room at his house and he's got this 9 millimeter pointed at him and he said hey if you don't move I won't shoot at this point I find this comical because these people go, don't shoot, don't shoot. They, meanwhile, they, they entered your house full knowing, full well knowing the consequences, pleading for his life, don't shoot, don't shoot. And he has the guy get on the ground. The guy's 100% cooperating, scared to get shot, had no problem entering this guy's house, but he was scared to get shot. And he follows all of McGowan's instructions. Well, then McGowan realizes that he left his cell phone upstairs so he tells the guy you're going up there with me and you're going first they're going up the stairs and the guy's going call the police but don't shoot me <laughs> you know so that goes to show you that the criminal they are more fearful of an armed citizen than law enforcement by far studies have shown this time and time again they've surveyed prisoners and they have said that their greatest fear was an armed citizen because they'll just shoot them they don't have to live by any uh, ethical protocol that the law enforcement officers have to. So they call the police, they arrest this guy, 51 year old guy, he was a loner, and McGowan lived. Why did he live? Why didn't his house get ransacked again? Why weren't all the, he said that the first time there were TVs that were left behind, it's clear this guy came back to get more stuff or he was tipped off that there was more stuff there. Whatever the case, it was the gun that made a difference. 51 year old guy versus a 73 year old guy, come on. What are the chances? But the great equalizer, that SIG 9 millimeter made all the difference in the world. McGowan lives, he keeps his stuff, and that guy's going in his rightful place, and that is in jail, but he lives. But in other, other cases, somebody would shoot him and he wouldn't live. That guy is lucky McGowan was a gentleman. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.